I'm Gail Coleshill with the North East Somerset Liberal Democrats and I'm here today in Radstock with Councillor Nathan Hartley and we're standing inside, outside the old co-op building and you can just about see all the boarded up windows there. Uh, Councillor Hartley, um, would you like to tell us a little bit about the empty homes and what you think should be done in Baines? Absolutely, Gail. Well, I've, I've come down from Peasdown today, down to Radstock, and I'm standing in front of the old bakery, which, uh, as you can get, is an old bakery. It's part of the whole Radco, Radstock co-op uh, um, thing. And what I would like to see, instead of it uh, here as an empty building that really makes the place look an absolute mess, I would rather that it was brought back into use and used as kind of social house, uh, affordable housing flats. I've recently found out uh, from Baines Council there are almost 600, that's 600 empty properties in Bath and North East Somerset. And instead of building 15,000 new houses in Baines, which is what the Conservatives want to do, or instead of seeing 21,000 extra homes in uh, Baines, which is what Labour want to do, I as a Liberal Democrat would, would rather see some of these old buildings brought back into use first. Uh, so I think this could provide maybe six, seven or eight new flats. Uh, I know lots of people in Peastown, Radstock, Midsummer, on who have been waiting for ages for somewhere to live. Um, and uh, so I think, you know, by developing this building and providing more social housing in this way, instead of building over on the green belt and destroying existing communities, that's certainly an answer and a way forward to providing more affordable and social housing. Uh, thank you, Councillor Hartley. Um, can you just clarify what the core strategy is saying? The core strategy is a very complicated bureaucratic document um, that is saying that about 15,000 houses should be built uh, in Bath and North East Somerset by the year 2026. Now, just to divide that up into separate areas, that's about 2,000 on the edge of Bath, possibly Newton St. Lowe as a location for that. That's 3,000 extra houses over at Whitchurch, which is just kind of this side of Bristol. That's about 1,400 houses in the Norton Radstock area. Uh, that's 7,000 extra houses in the city of Bath and then about 1,500 houses left to be built in other places such as Porton uh, and Peastown which of course is where I'm a councillor uh, and I am fundamentally opposed to any more houses in Peastown at the moment. So that's the core strategy and the Conservatives have recently voted in favour of a document that supports that and the current Labour MP for this area, his government wants to see 21,000 extra houses for this area so I think uh, Gail for a real difference and a real choice to that, people should be voting for the Lib Dems. Thank you very much.